All right, so I hope that this uh, helps people with Canadian Tire a little bit more than anything. I want to show some of the key markers and breaking points. Hopefully, it'll cut down on the accidents because it'll give you an idea of where people are braking. I don't think this is a track that is in the Xfinity series. I think it's in the truck, but not Xfinity. If I'm, I may be wrong about that. The so people may not be used to it. This isn't necessarily the fastest lap, I don't think, but. Hopefully, if you can see where some of the breaking points are, it will keep us from having so many pile-ups and cautions in our league race. So I'm going to roll through this and narrate as I go through a lap. I am coming through the start-finish line here. So this is coming into turn one, and I'm going to show a couple of things here. So as we start going here, right about here, this is a little bit of a hill. And as you're cresting the hill, that's when you're going to want to be coming off the gas and hitting the brakes. You don't have to hit the brakes real hard for turn one, which is a right-hander, um, but you do have to hit the brakes a little bit. And it's a little bit of a difficult turn because the car wants to get light because you're coming off of an uphill. So as it's going into the downhill, the car's almost uh, a little bit light. So you got to let it kind of land before you can get back on the gas. But a good point to look for is when you get to the end of these signs here, people are going to be off the brakes and, and uh, or off the gas and on the brakes. And again, it'll be some are going, probably going to be earlier, some are going to be later, some are going to be harder on the brakes. But this is a good point to watch for to know that people are going to be slowing down here. So as you come on around here and go through one, now you're hard on the gas, headed to two. As you come to turn two, big thing to look for is that champion sign either right at it or shortly after it, you're going to have to be braking again. You're coming off an uphill going down, so the car's going to get light, and it's hard to turn when the car is light. It's almost like the car is, is almost going to get up in the air. Um, it doesn't really get up in the air, but it does kind of get light. Here, through this section, you might just touch fourth gear, but usually you have to downshift to third to make this turn. But again, when you see that champion sign, people are going to be breaking either at that sign or shortly after it. Um, and in turn two is a very sweeping left-hander. So you get around to about here, you should be back into the gas. Um, as you're at this point, um, certainly before you hit that black stretch, you want to get back into gas. You want to be diving down to the bottom of the turn here so you can get a run into three. So as you come through here, now you're going up through three. Now at three, you might again, if you got off of turn two well, you might just touch fourth gear because you can see right here I'm redlining here. A good point to remember on three is, is this road sign over here. About that road sign is where you're going to want to be braking. Some may be earlier, some may be later, some even may downshift a second. I try to not downshift, I try to roll through it in three. But it's a sweeping turn, but you want to start wide and dive to the bottom of it. I don't necessarily hit it the best in this, but you can get an idea if that's where the, the breaking points are. It's a very sweeping turn. It's a good potential to get a lot of cautions because some people are breaking early to get great exit speed. Some are trying to dive into it hard. But know that that, that, sign, that road sign on the left is a good indication of that's when you're going to start seeing people break. So that is three. Now coming up four and five are the two trickiest. You are wide open through here. I can usually hit fourth gear and will stay in fourth gear. But again, about that road sign, I try to get off the brakes or off the gas. Don't always touch the brakes, but I'm sure some people will be touching the brakes. It is really easy to spin here because the car is such high speed and it gets so light coming over this hump here. But you're going to want to be off the gas somewhere around this champion sign, maybe even touching the brakes a little bit. Some people probably downshift. I didn't here. And as you're coming here, once the car settles and you can really feel the car settle, you can get back on the gas. But this is turn five. It's not a hairpin, but it is a full 180 degree turn. Five is where you have the biggest potential because you're carrying such high speed coming into it. And then if you have hit everything well, 
you're probably going to be breaking before you get to the bottom here and you've got to break hard. I get down to second gear. Uh, some people probably uh, go to first. I come to second, but it is a hard braking. But you have to start braking about where I'm at or even a little further back to have any hope of making it through turn five. So you're hard on the brakes here, but as you come up through, you kind of need to be getting off the brakes as you're coming up this hill here so you can make the turn. This turn is extremely easy to either spin out on or overshoot it and go clear up by the barrier. Um, and again, this is probably the biggest potential to have cautions in a league race because you've got everybody carrying such high speed and having to slow down in such a hurry. But you've got to be off the brakes and slow down enough to make the turn. If you're still on the brakes trying to make the turn, you're going to be in trouble. This turn, though, when you hit this turn, you are really rolling through the turn. You are very light on the gas, if at all. You're just rolling through it. Once you get the exit here, now you're hard on the gas. About this point, you've got the car straightened up. You want to be hard on the gas here, and you're going to run through the gears till we get up to turn uh, six. So as you're coming through here, highest speed section. Um, flat out, you're going to come close to redlining in fourth gear by the time you're to the end of it. And as you get up here, somewhere between this Canadian tire sign and there's a couple yellow tents or something on the other side of it, is where most people are braking. When you're coming up to turn six, it is a very deceptive turn because you're carrying such high speed that you've got to start braking well in advance of it and it can sneak up on you and very easy to overshoot. So as we come through here, uh, I went just a hair too far. So let's try this again to see if I can catch it to show the two yellow markers uh, that are your braking points before you come into six. And you can see that is one right there. I probably won't be able to catch the other one. Yeah, we flew by it just a touch. See, that is the other one. Somewhere between the road sign and those two yellow markers is where people are probably going to be getting on the brakes. And you're going to be downshifting on at least a third gear to make this turn. It's very deceptive because it doesn't look like a sharp turn. And, but you're coming in at such high speed that you've got to brake in advance because it's a very flat turn, as, as really they all are on Canadian Tire. So you come through here. Next point is about the end of these road markers here, the red and white road markers. You get off the gas to set up for turn seven. Um, if you're if you got fresh rubber, of course, handling good, you can probably just get off the gas and roll through seven. If not, you may have to tap the brakes a little bit. So you roll here, you hit seven. Then when you're coming here somewhere in the middle of these uh, black road signs here is when you're probably going to want to get on the brakes. And if you hit it perfect, you might be able to stay in third gear. I like to downshift a second. I use the downshifting to help slow the car down a little bit. Um, but uh, uh, the downshifting almost acts like a brake a little bit. But somewhere along about these road signs here that are black is when you're going to start hitting the brakes and downshifting for turn eight. And then right in here, uh, you're hard on the gas in and up through the gears, and the finish line is in sight. And that is my lap. Um, hope that helps. That was a, a pretty decent lap for me of 119.7. I think I hit... Uh, a few tenths better than that, but that was a pretty good lap for me. Hope that helps um, with understanding where the braking points are, because that's what's going to cause the cautions in this league race is is the different braking points and knowing where to brake. It, this is probably not a track that people run a lot, but um, hope this helps to reduce the cautions a little bit in the next race.